Good evening, everybody, and thanks for watching tonight. My name is Kevin McGahey, and my videographer all night tonight will be Anthony Cugini. And it's our collective pleasure to bring you the home opener of 2009 Upper St. Clair Girls Volleyball. Tonight, uh, the Panthers welcome the Hillers from Trinity High School. It's a Section 2 contest. Panthers already 1-0 in the season, having conquered Albert Gallatin earlier this week. The Hillers also come in at 1-0. As you know, it's real early in the season. They beat Connellsville on Tuesday night, 3-2. But it's my first chance to see these young ladies. We'll go through the starting lineups very quickly as things get underway here. And I'll probably start or just read the numbers off as the action happens. Right now, this, this year, the Panthers have got a pretty good upperclassman laden team. Lots of starting seniors, two juniors, two sophomores that will be playing regularly. It looks as though we're just about to get underway in a brand new gym practically. Great brand new floor. No more glare off of that thing. And brand new lighting that I hope does nothing but help some, the Panthers to some success. The Hillers get the first serve and we are underway. Number 24, Lauren Williams picks that one up and from the left side that is number 15, Maggie Slowey. Getting up on top of it from the left side, but sailing it about four feet long, and the Hillers draw first blood. Number 10 is doing the serving. That's Katie Cook. She's a junior for Trinity. Rachel Broadland just dumping it over the net. That did not fool the Hillers. From the left side, number 13 off the block. That's Bree Hollick for Trinity. From the right side, Rachel Broadland, number 22. All with really a good look at it, but she hammers it into the lower part of the net. And the Hillers off to an early 2-0 lead. And if you've seen enough of these telecasts in past years, you know this is a best-of-five match. One game is called a set. Set goes to 25 points. You win them by two. And you play the best of five of those. Again, Maggie Slowey from the left side. Another good look at it, but she came just under it. Sails it about four feet long. And now it's a 3-0 Trinity lead. Katie Cook again with that serve. The libero. That's Rachel Jones, and now taps it off with a nice top spin. Tops it off the arm of number 10. That's Katie Cook again, the junior for Trinity, and that is the first point, the first kill of the night. And it comes off the hands of the libero. You don't see that very often. Normally, the libero is a defensive specialist. But Rachel Jones got a hold of that one, and the Panthers are on the board, trailing by two. It's three. One. And I'm sure Rachel just wanted to dump that over the net. Didn't quite work. It's a service error. Sends a point and a serve right back to Trinity. Where number 13 has it, that's Bree Hollick. There's the set and a nice little tip over the net by Casey Perryman. And the block for the point. Casey Perryman up over the net. Right place, right time. Panthers trading points now. It's a 4-2 Trinity lead. We're still real early. It's only set number one of a best of five match. Rachel Broadland now, the junior number 22 with the serve. Handled by Trinity. There's the set number 22 is Caitlin Deep. Gets it back to the Panthers. There's Maggie Slowey again off a tip or... Nope, just sails long. Well, Maggie Slowey is getting a pretty decent set. She's just getting under it. She's got to get her ball a little bit, her hand a little bit more on top of the ball. That'll work. Side out, point, Trinity. Dug out of the nice, the end on the two ball. Susan McLean tried that one, also did not work, and Rachel Jones again. Susan McLean back to Rachel Jones on the back row. So yeah, that, that'll be a double hit. You could see it, I don't know if you can see it on the television, but it was a double hit. It put a spin on the ball. That is a violation. Substitution for the Panthers on the floor is senior outside hitter Madison Stromberg. Number Trinity the back row, Rachel Jones again. Casey Perriman dumping it down. That comes back by number 10, the, kid, the libero Katie Cook for Trinity. Casey Perriman right side this time finds it right there to the back corner. Casey Perriman, her first kill of the night. Panthers back within one. It's 5-4.
Rachel Jones, Susan McLean, Madison Stromberg off the hands of Katie Cook and out of bounds, Madison Stromberg. First kill attempt, first successful point of the night. Maggie Slowey, I got a little game with a serve. Two service errors so far on the night for the Panthers. Coach Nagao is probably going to have to work on that in practice. Substitution on the floor number four. This is Krista Gailey. She's a junior defensive specialist, and Maggie Slowey will take a quick break. Number 22, Caitlin Deep, senior middle hitter for the Hillers. Now steps to the back line with the serve. Nice overhand and short. Well, the serving gods giveth and they taketh away. We'll take that point. Another substitution. Now this is number 17 on the floor. This is Katie, Kelsey, rather. Kelsey Mahenko. She's a sophomore play in the middle. And Rachel Jones in the rotation takes a spot on the bench. Casey Perriman with the serve just over the net. Dug out of there nicely by Trinity. Slicing attack off the right hand of Rachel Broadland, and that one belongs to Trinity. It's still only one point lead, still very, very early. It's set number one. 7 6 Trinity. That one just fell right in the smack of the donut hole. The two back row players, that's actually Krista Gailey and Rachel Broadland, had a shot at it, but it rattles off a wrist and out of bounds. And it's back to a two point lead for Trinity. 8 6. Easy top spin, Susan McLean, she's the setter. Kelsey Mahenko easing the ball over the net, no power, did not fool Trinity. Joust at the net. Panthers come up with it. Matt, uh, rattles off a wrist, ball is still alive. There's Rachel Jones has it back, Susan McLean right side to Kelsey Mahenko, sails off into the Trinity bench, no touches and simply out of bounds. Point. Trinity serving, I should have mentioned, Mary Stadelman, senior outside hitter number eight, doing the serving for Trinity. Set, set to the center, right into the Trinity block, Rachel Broadland right there. Well, it's not much of a point, but it counts. It's what it looked like a lob shot in tennis that fell just over the net. Trinity unable to handle and return it, and the Panthers are back within two. 9-7, Susan McLean. Number 13 with the little jump, sir, and sails it just long. Good idea from Susan, but gravity was not working with her. That ball sails long, and the service error sends the point and side out to Trinity. No. <laughs> well, trade, we'll trade service errors. That works. Substitution, Krista Gailey out for the Panthers, and Maggie Slowey, number 15, back in. This is number 24, Lauren Williams. With the serve. From the left side, number 13, that's Bree ba Hollick. Maggie Slowey into the Trinity block that time, comes right back. Trinity again with that point. Another good look by Maggie Slowey. That'll come. The sets are good. She's having a good look at it. She'll just have to place a three-point lead for Trinity, 11-8. And back with the serve is the senior libero, number 10, Katie Cook. Susan McLean, right side. Kelsey Mahenko with her first kill of the night. Four kills, four different players. Panthers get the side out and point back. Rachel Jones once again with the serve. Steps up, nice little backspin, almost. Oh my goodness, Casey Perriman on the spot with the place block. That's that's the overpass happened by Trinity. They sent it right to the net. They're supposed to send it to one of their own players. Casey Perriman knew exactly how to take care of business there. Panthers back within one. It's 11-10, Trinity. Little short set right into the St. Clair block. Trinity back with it. Sails long, but Lauren Williams did touch it. She'd have been well better sir, to let that one go. Oh, well, out of bounds. It went off her hand, point, and side out to Trinity, where Bree Hollick, the junior outside hitter, will be doing the Trinity serving.
Easy top spin serve. Lauren Williams to Susan McLean. Short set to Casey Perriman. Gorgeous double block by the Panthers, and it does not come back. That one's out of bounds, side out, and point for the Panthers. Rachel Broadland now, number 22 with the Panthers serve. Lovely top spin to the front row, and it won't be much on that, if anything. Nope, that's four hits. That set came as a, it was a bump set. Usually you try to do it with your hands in the air. The bump set came too close to the net. Nothing the thrillers could do with it. And the match is all knotted up again now at 12. Rachel Broadland again, top spin serve, and that is the first service ace of the match. Rachel Broadland fooled Bree Hollick. It came just down to her right, and she wasn't able to get under it enough to return that, and that is the first service ace of the match. And season as far as I know. Rachel Broadland again, hard top spin. Comes back to the Panthers this time. Susan McLean short set off Casey Perriman. Casey Perriman, number 12. Two kills for Casey Perriman, and the Panthers now with those last two points with the first lead of the match. 14-12, two-point Panther lead. Rachel Broadland once again with the serve. Top spin. The center set, and Maggie Slowey digging that one out. Oh, well done, Susan McLean with the block for a point. Good presence of mind right there. And Coach Gretchen Mountain of the Trinity Hillers calls a quick timeout. This has been a great run for the Panthers down three a minute ago. They've come back in a big fat hurry to lead now by three. It is 15-12. Well, it's the first time I've had to take a break too with the continuous action that's been going on all match long. Five total team kills tonight. Two by Casey Perriman. One each by number 17, Kelsey Mahenko. Number eight, Madison Stromberg. And number two, the libero, Rachel Jones. Rachel Bottle once again with a serve. She's got the only service ace of the match tonight for the Panthers. And the Panthers enjoying a three-point lead right now. Having come back strong under Rachel Jones and Rachel Broadland's serving duties. Rachel Baldwin uh, picked up by Rachel Jones. Lauren Williams just keeping the ball in play. Nothing fancy, but, well, Trinity does rescue it. That one was headed way out of bounds into the bench. Lauren Williams had a good look at that. The pass came a little too far for Susan McLean. She tried to punch it over on the second hit. Nah, it didn't quite work. Side out, end point over to the Hillers. Lauren Williams, the overpass, sends it right back to Trinity. No danger there. Well, that was kind of interesting when the number eight Mary Stadelman had the attack for Trinity. It dribbled down the front of the Panthers block, not able to come up with it, and two consecutive points for the Hillers. Puts them back within one is 15-14 Panthers. Susan McLean on the second touch that time. Did not fool Trinity, but the little little touch pass. Susan McLean bringing it back in, and Lauren Williams getting it right back over. Panthers keep it in play. A little short set off the block. Rachel Jones handles that. Left side, Maggie Slowey. And there it is for Maggie. That's what we were looking for. Several chances in Maggie Slowey's first kill of the night. Panthers get the side out and point and a two-point lead at 16-14. And Maggie Slowey with the serve just barely over the net. And that one fooled. Oh, brother, everybody thought that one was going into the net. It finds a few molecules of air between it and the net. It's over, and it's a service ace for Maggie Slowey. Two on the night for the Panthers, first for Maggie. Switches sides of the court. You can serve from anywhere along that back line. Trinity just hoisting it back over. Casey Perriman from the right side dribbles it down uh, through the block. And Trinity does indeed come back with it. Maggie Slowey, Susan McLean, left side, just out. I thought Madison Stromberg had a pretty good look at that, but it sails just wide. Side out and point Trinity. They still trail the Panthers by two. It's 17-15. Caitlin Deep with the Trinity serve. Madison Stromberg off the Trinity block. They do recover in time to get that ball back. No power on it. Rachel Jones now 
Susan McLean. Oh, net violation. Casey Perriman. Yep. Her momentum carried her into the net. That is a violation. You cannot touch that net. When you do, it's a, the ball is dead. Point for the other squad. Caitlin deep again for Trinity. Rachel Broadland. Susan McLean. Casey Perriman rolls it. Apparently touched the Trinity player. That's good. Casey Perriman again, but into the Trinity block, and Trinity knots the, mat, uh, the set rather back up at 17. Remember, the, the set goes to 25 points. You have to win it by two, and it's a best of five match. Rachel Jones. There's a set from the left side into the St. Clair block. That was Mary Stadelman with the hit. Just long, good choice by Rachel Jones. Sails two feet long, Panthers get the side out and the lead back, it's 18-17. And Casey Perriman from the front line to the back row for the serve. Little top spin number, but that fool, wow, that fooled Katie Cook. My guess is that knuckled into her like some Phil Necro knuckleball. She guessed wrong and that is a service ace by Casey Perriman, three of those tonight by three different players. Two point lead for the Panthers on 19-17. Oh, well, she'd wish she had that one back. Hammers into the net. She'll take a spot on the bench. Rachel Jones comes back as libero to play the back row. That was a knuckle serve. You could read the laces on that volleyball all the way here. Oh, Kelsey Mahenko with a pretty good look, but sails that one wide, giving a gift to the Trinity Hillers. And now we are knotted up at 19. Look like this set is likely to go all the way down to the wire. Rachel Jones, there's the setter Susan McLean and Kelsey Mahenko just tapping it over, but right into the... Good choice, just long by Trinity and nobody touched it. Panthers now, we're in 20 point territory. We're getting close to the deciding points of the set. Panthers with a one point lead. Having fought their way back and this one Panthers trailed early by three, came back to lead by three. Oh, that one was probably going long, but worked out fine. Mary Stadelman just couldn't get out of the way of that one for Trinity, and that is a service ace for Susan McLean. Her first tonight for, for the Panthers, four different players. Two point Panther lead at 21-19. Another coasting serve. And confusion on the back line between number two, Alyssa Matthews and Mary Stadelman. Back-to-back -back aces for Susan McLean. And a very nice three-point lead substitution now for Trinity. Number six comes on the floor. That's Jen Mascarinic. Hope I got that right, Jen. Jen Mascarinic in. Alyssa Matthews, the senior right side player, out. Susan McLean again, a little hop serve. It was a slider, had a side spin, and it lands about two feet out of bounds that time. Panthers still with a two-point lead at 22-20. 25 points is a match, or is a set rather, and you have to win it by two. Rachel Jones, back set. Recovered though by the Panthers right into the, hill, into the block and some confusion about who was gonna take that between Madison Stromberg and Susan McLean falls on our side. And the Hillers within one, 22-21. Little side spin serve. Susan McLean with a set to the back row. Rachel Jones will take it from there with a top spin. A little too far into the net. Madison Stromberg needed to lean back a little bit more with that one, hit it into the net. And the Panthers, just like that, have given up a three point lead in crucial territory. And Coach Yoko Nagao takes a quick timeout to calm down her charges. It is opening night, after all. It is. Uh, at the opening of the season, Trinity has an historic, pretty good squad. The Panthers hanging in this one with some uh, overcoming some service errors and uh, some hits into the net, but so far, so good. S six kills on the night for the Panthers, two by Casey Perriman, one each. Rachel Jones, number two, Madison Stromberg, number eight, Maggie Slowey, number 15, and Kelsey Mahenko, number 17. Three blocks for points, two by Casey Perriman, one by Rachel Jones, and five aces now, and that is really what has kept the Panthers in this match. Right now, needing a defensive uh, uh, 
specialty to come up with this point. From the back row, Maggie Sloy. That won't do it, though. No power. None for Trinity either, but it falls just, just over the front line. And now Trinity in control with the serve and the one-point lead at 23-22. Top spinster, Rachel Jones to Susan McLean. Panthers needing this one. Rachel Broadland with a slicing attack off the block. To the far left side, Madison Stromberg digging that one out. Very nicely done. Rachel Broadland off the block and down. So Madison Stromberg keeps that one alive with a great dig. Rachel Broadland finishes it off with her first kill tonight. Number 24 is Lauren Williams. We're tied up at 23. Somebody's got to win by two or we go into extra time. Well, that one was odd. It came from way away from the net, but it fell just to the left of Rachel Jones. And now it's basically game point, a set point rather, for Trinity. But the receiving team always has the advantage. First one to touch the ball. Rachel Jones to Susan McLean. Maggie Slowey. No net violation by Trinity. Gives the Panthers a gift. Now we will go into extra time. Now we keep playing until somebody wins it by two. Casey Perriman back on the floor. Number 17, Kelsey Mahenko off. And it's Rachel Jones. Number two, the Junior Libero with that serve. Lauren Williams digs it off the floor. Maggie Slowey down and a point for Maggie Slowey. Wouldn't have happened without that dig by Lauren Williams, but Maggie Slowey with her second kill tonight. Rachel Jones now trying to serve for the set. It's 25-24, Panthers with the advantage. Rachel Jones with the serve. It's a successful one to the front row. Standard bump set and the attack. Susan McLean comes back with that one, and Maggie Slowey off the hands of Katie Cook, but the Hillers keep control, just no power. Rachel Jones now, can the Panthers use it to finish off the match? And Casey Harriman does just that. And with that little comeback, two in this match, the Panthers take game one, set one rather, this best of five match, 26-24. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be back for set number two. Hang with us. Welcome back, everybody. Kevin McGahey back with you. My videographer, Anthony Cugini, tonight. I know that was only a couple of microseconds for you, but we took a nice three-minute break from the intense action of set number one of this best-of-five match. The Panthers just won a 26-24. You saw that, and these teams are getting about as evenly matched as it gets. And we're set for set number two with Rachel Jones doing the serving for the Panthers. Back set to Rachel Broadland. Off the block and down, Rachel Broadland. Two kills tonight for Rachel, and the Panthers draw first blood in set number two. Rachel Jones again. Not much of a spin on it, but handled nicely by Trinity. And from the left side, that is number 22, Caitlin Deep. Panthers now back to Maggie Slowey, up and down. Maggie Slowey had a rough time getting off track in, in set number one. She has come through in at the end of set number one and right here. Her first attempt in set number two goes for a point at the foot of the back row for Trinity. And it's an early 2-0 lead for the Panthers in set number two. Little side spinner, Rachel Jones fooled Alyssa Matthews. That had to be a major league slider coming at her and that is another service ace. Five for the Panthers in set number one, and that's the first one for Rachel Jones. Make it six for the team tonight. And there's another one. Oh, just hard, no spin serve for Rachel. Off the St. Clair block and out. Block for a point. Casey Perriman and Rachel Broadland to share the block for that one. And the Panthers now with a 4-0 lead to start set number two. Rachel Jones just, just easing the ball over the net, hoping for another service ace. Doesn't happen that time. Caitlin Deep hoists it back to the St. Clair side. Short set, Casey Perriman. I love that little play, the short, quick set. 
Didn't work that time. Didn't get quite high enough for Casey Perriman to pound it down. And that's first blood for Trinity. They're off the schneid, but it's still a 4-1 Panther lead. There's the set net, right into the Trinity block. Again, the set didn't get quite high enough. Susan McLean, the placement was good, but not quite enough height on it. Hillers with two consecutive points, and it's now 4-2 Panthers. Maggie Slowey getting that one to Susan McLean, right back to Maggie Slowey, and the slicing attack off the hand of Bree Hollick and out of bounds, Maggie Slowey. Four kills tonight, now suddenly to lead all Panther attackers. Three-point Panther lead at 5-2, Rachel Broadland, junior number 22, to the back line for the Panther serve. Top spin, it comes right back to the net, not quite overpassed. Maggie Slowey, yeah, way too much on that, easily seven, eight feet out of bounds. Had a nice top spin on it, but gravity would not drag it down. Point and side out for Trinity and Lauren Billy, the senior setter. Four, Trinity back for the serve. Top spin, and that's some confusion there between Lauren Williams and Rachel Jones. They can rattle off the wrist of Lauren Williams and off the back line. Service ace for Trinity. And they're back with that with five to four. Panthers scored the first points of this set. And Trinity's outscored them four to one since. Lauren Billy with the top spin serve. Rachel Jones pulling it out. Back set to Maggie Slowey. Top spin. She was headed for that back left corner, but it came a little long. We're going to have to get Maggie out of the weight room, I think. And suddenly set number two is all tied up at five. Hard driving top spin serve. Picked up and shoved to the back row by the Panthers. Short set. They won't be able to do much with that. Lauren Williams to Rachel Jones and Maggie Slowey. Top spin again, just long. She had the right idea. You really want to aim for that back line. The back line, the action on the back line causes some confusion amongst the back row players. Did not work that time and the Hillers have come up with the lead all of a sudden at 6-5. Rachel Jones skimming it over the net. And from the way back row, indeed the ball go, does go back. The Hillers keep it in play. Net violation, I was screened by the official. I couldn't see exactly who it was. One of the Panther players touched the net. The ball is dead and the point for Trinity now with a two point lead at 7-5. On the two ball, Susan McLean did not fool Trinity. Mary Stadelman getting over for the Hillers. Casey Perriman into the block and now from the left side, uh, Maggie Slowey again. Slow slicing attack, didn't quite make it. And that one just lands barely inside that back left corner. And the Panthers seem to have lost their focus here a little bit after an early 4-0 lead. They've been outscored by the Trinity Hillers, 8-1. Casey Perriman off the block that time. There it is, Casey Perriman off two Trinity hands and that breaks the string of points. And Casey Perriman gets her fourth kill tonight to tie her with Maggie Slowey for the team lead so far. Maggie Slowey back to the back line for the serve for the Panthers. A lofting attack by Alyssa Matthews, number two, and just touched over the net, Madison Stromberg. Finds a spot right in the center of the defense. It is not how hard you hit him, it is where, and that one worked just fine for Madison. Maggie Slowey again with a side winder serve. Headed for the side line, but it comes about two feet to this side. The service error sends the side out and point over to Trinity. Back with a two point lead at 9-7. Rachel Jones, Susan McLean, you'll hear that a lot tonight. Madison Stromberg, top spin and a net violation by Trinity. Sort of a dead ball foul and it goes right back to the Panthers creeping back within one. It's 9-8 Hillers with Casey Perriman, the senior middle hitter with a serve. 
Well, that fooled Katie Cook again a little bit, but it's back in play, and that's what we were talking about a minute ago. That one was shoved over the net and landed just inside the back end line. Worked out fine for the Hillers. Mary Stadelman with the Trinity serve. Kelsey Mahenka with what looked like a pretty good set. It sort of rolled off her wrist and down. Given the point to Trinity, and they're back to the three-point lead. It's 11-8, Hillers. Dunk out of there by Maggie Slowey. Yep, well, you can't hit it under the net. That counts as a four-hit <laughs> for Trinity. Side out end point for the Panthers. Trailing by two. It's 11-9 Trinity right now. Little hop serve by Susan McLean. Worked in the last set, not this time. Service error sends it right back to Trinity. They've got a three-point lead back at 12-9. Substitution for Trinity. Number six on the floor, that's Jen Mascarinic. Substitutes for Alyssa Matthews. We saw that substitution in the last set. And there's Jen Mascarinic with the serve. Rachel Jones, Susan McLean, Madison Stromberg from the right side. Too much on it again. Well, that has been the uh, Panthers' bugaboo so far in set number two is pretty good looks at the ball, but they're sailing way long and wide. Happened again, and the Panthers now down by four. It's 13-9, Hillers. Rachel Broadland taking care of business, though, breaking that string. That's done with power, the classic bump set attack. And then Rachel Broadland with her third kill tonight. Lauren Williams, a senior. In for the back row play and the serving chores. Panthers trail by three. This is set number two of a best of five match. Panthers took set number one. After a quick equipment repair, Susan McLean's got those shoes tied up. She was there in first grade, apparently. And nothing much for Trinity. And sails away long off the wrist of number 13, Bree Hollick. The junior outside hitter gives the Panthers a point. Call them are calling back within two now. It's 13-11. Panthers, or rather Hillers. A little far away from the net, so there's not any power on it. Now it's going to the Panthers use it in the short set. Kelsey Mahenko off the short set and off the wrist of number 24, Sarah Reese. Kelsey Mahenko, two kills tonight. Panthers back within one. Closing up that four-point lead that Trinity had just a few scant minutes ago. Lauren Williams, top spin serve. From the right side, Rachel Jones overpasses it, but doesn't hurt the Panthers. Got a chance to use it on the back set to Rachel Brudlin into the net, though. Point Trinity, Panthers had crept back within one. So the, the Hillers stretch it out to two. It's 14-12, Trinity. Left side, Maggie Slowey into that for hits call. So it was into the net and not into the Trinity block. Trinity back-to-back -back points, stretches that lead back to three. It's 15-12. Whoa. Looks like Katie Cook got in the weight room between games. That one sailed about eight feet long. Service error gives the point. The side out to the Panthers, hanging around, but not able to take control like they did in the last set. Top spin, knuckle serve, and Rachel Jones. I could read Mikasa on that ball though, the whole way since it left her hand. Two aces tonight for Rachel Jones. That's seven for the team. And the Panthers back within one. 15, 14, just over the net. Man, if you could just teach that, that's another service ace. If you could just manage to make that net the seventh man every time you served. But I don't think that's possible. And the Panthers have clawed back to tie up set number two at 15. And another service ace falls at the feet of Katie Cook for Trinity. Three aces for Rachel Jones. She's got a variety of serves. No spin, back spin, top spin. And that is given the Hillers fits right now. And the Panthers have fought back from a four-point deficit to lead by one, it is 
Set goes to 25. You got to win it by two. Panthers already with one set in hand. Kills tonight so far for the Panthers. Four for number 12, Casey Perriman. Sophomore Maggie Slowey has four. Junior Rachel Broadland, number 22, with three. Kelsey Mahenko, sophomore number 17, with two. Madison Stromberg, number eight, with two. And Rachel Jones with one. But it's the serving that has come alive. Panthers had some problems early on, but right now, the serving is giving uh, Hillers all kinds of trouble. Rachel Jones with four aces. Susan McLean with two and one each. For Casey Perryman, Maggie Slowey, and Rachel Broadland. Waiting until everybody's set. Seems to be A-OK. -okay. Rachel Jones once again with that serve. This time it's another one of those knuckle serves. No motion on the ball. From the right side, though. Strong attack handled by the Panthers. Rachel Broadland off the block and recovered. Three hits, I guess, by the Hillers. Ball still in play. Short set, Casey Perriman. High over the top and down with kill number five. And it's a two-point Panther lead. They haven't had a lead like this since early in this set when they led 4-2. to two. Rachel Jones again, just dumping it over and an ace in front of Jen Mascarinic. Not only was it had no spin on it, but gravity sucked that one right down to the floor. And it's a three-point lead and five aces for Rachel. Six aces for Rachel Jones. Well... You know, I'm glad I'm not out there trying to return this stuff because apparently it's fooling six very good players for the Trinity side, and the Panthers have that four-point lead they enjoyed at the start of this set. It is 19-15, and that's exactly what you want. It's a nice cushion as you approach 20-point territory. Yes, yes, it is legal. Comes back. I didn't know whether it would hit the antenna or not, but that is legal. I'll explain it in a minute if I get the chance. But at the net, oh, Susan McLean. Had a look at it, rolls off her wrist and over the back line. Trinity with the point in the side out. What happened was Madison Stromberg, I think, actually ran beyond the net, but out of bounds. And you can do that to retrieve a ball as long as it comes backwards. Can't go forwards with it, but it worked out like a charm for the Panthers. Rachel Jones now. Maggie Slowey. Dug out of there by Trinity. There won't be any power this time. That one was headed right for the back line. Rachel Jones made a good choice. Picking that one up, and a net violation by Trinity. Wasn't sure. Number eight, of the, that was Mary Stadelman with the violation. And the Panthers now with a four-point lead, 2016. Heading into the conclusion of set number two here. Rachel Brawlton with the serve, and a good one. Dives and hits over the net. Panthers block. Susan McLean on the two ball, takes that one over. You don't normally see that out of your setter. The setters don't get a lot of kills. Their job is with pinpoint passing to distribute that ball to the different hitters. But that time, now the Panthers with a five-point lead, 21-16, and with the serve. And a good one, top spin run of Rachel Broadland. From the left side with power, Rachel Jones, though, able to dig that one back. Maggie Slowey, slicing attack. Not a lot of power, but great placement at the feet of Bree Hollick. Five kills for Maggie Slowey. Six point Panther lead at 22-16. Rachel Broadland still with the serve. Finally, Hillers with a chance, but off the Panther block. Pancaked out of there by Rachel Broadland. Wow, oh, just not enough to get over. Pancake is where you put your hand flat on the floor. To get between the ball and the floor, it worked out for Rachel, but the Panthers could not come up with a point. Still with a five-point lead is 22-17 Panthers. We're playing to 25 by two. Well, there's a nice gift. Off the hands of Lauren Billy, she's a senior setter. And the Panthers six-point lead again with only two to go to victory in set number two. Little side spinner for Maggie Slowey to the setter and from the left side into the Panthers block. Casey Perriman loses the joust but comes up with the ball. I missed the violation. I don't know. Wasn't sure whether it was a double hit or a lift called. I didn't see the hand signal from the official, but it is a violation point to Trinity. 
Rachel Brothen again digging that one off the floor. Rachel Jones pooches it toward the back, just about a foot too long. That's what you want, as I explained before, is to hit the back line so the defense doesn't know quite what to do with it. Panthers now needing to come home for the kill here. 23-19, four-point lead, two points to go. Susan McLean on the two ball. Did not fool Trinity. Not able to use it. That one probably was headed out of bounds, but Susan McLean claimed it. Left side, Mary Stadelman, nothing on it. Can the Panthers use it now? Madison Stromberg, top spin. No hope for the Hillers that time. Come on now, Panthers. See if we can't finish it off here with Madison Stromberg. Go with the hit. Lovely hit, rescued out of there by, well, it was a great effort by Caitlin Deep, but not quite enough to get it over the net. And now the Panthers basically with five set points in hand. And Casey Perriman, the senior, doing the serving. Top spin. Katie Cook with it, but not much to, for the Hillers to work with. Rachel Broadland to Susan McLean. And now Madison Stromberg up into the net. Still four game points in hand for the Panthers to take away set number two and make this a 2-0 match. Mary Stadelman with the Hillers serve. Rachel Broadland from the back row. Interesting sequence of events there. The ball is still in play. Maggie Slowey with a dig. Susan McLean to Madison Stromberg. Just over the net and down. Madison Stromberg finishes off set number two for the Panthers. This one goes our way 25-20 after the first one went 26-24. And the Panthers now with a two set to nothing lead. Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back for set number three. Well, thanks for sticking with us, everybody. Kevin McGahee still with you and Anthony Cugini doing the videography tonight at the Panthers. You just saw us take set number two. 25-20, and the Panthers off to a decent start here in set number three with Maggie Slowey taking care of business to lead all killers tonight with six. And the Panthers one nothing. Rachel Jones with the upper St. Clair serve. Panthers looking very good so far, and uh, we have a good chance to get off to a great whoopee will start here at 2-0. Oh. Rachel Brawlin with a set, that's unusual, but Casey Perriman off the block, recovered by the Hillers. Rachel Jones digs that one out of nowhere. Maggie slowly just pooching it over the net. And it works, it's not how hard you hit him, it's where. And Trinity matches. Well, we're all even up at one, basically. Everybody's off the zero mark Lauren Billy number 12 doing the serving for Trinity top spin into the net we'll take that oh, sorry number 13 rather Bree Hollick was the guilty party there 2-1 Panthers Rachel Broadland the junior the junior right side hitter with the serve and a pretty good one too look at the wood yeah that's a that one almost ended up in a service ace and there's all, a huge crowd at the front of the net. Nobody playing the back line just then. But a rattle off Lauren Williams, Rissen out of bounds. And it's early in set number three. We're tied up at two. Substitution for Trinity. We've seen this before. Alyssa Matthews in. Jen Mascarini. Us Mascarinek. Pardon me. Mascarini, a freshman, out. She'll be back. Number 12, Lauren Billy with the Trinity serve. Top spin number. Rachel Jones picks it up. Back set, Maggie Slowy, but into the block, right into the block of Mary Stadelman for Trinity. Top spin, sir, Rachel brought into the front row. Well, this will be from the back, it's Rachel Jones. Just tipped over the back row, that's uh, well, Trinity feeling pretty good about that one. Not No power on it, but it did find a nice spot on the other side. Caitlin Deep taking care of that one. Right over the Panthers block. Well done. Top spin, Rachel Broadland to Susan McLean. Maggie Slowey off the tip. Yeah, Trinity able to keep it in play. Susan McLean on the two ball. 
Trinity again just keeping it in play not having much power not can't do anything with it Maggie Slowey doing something with it off the backboard that's in play and Trinity played that one pretty well that one went away long you probably didn't see that on TV but it went off one of the hanging basketball backboards nearly a two-point play but it does come back indeed it's out of bounds side out and point to the Panthers new player on the floor first time we've seen Catherine Davin Senior number 14. There's a service ace. You like seeing that. The players get nice and rested. That one came off the hands of Maggie Slowey. That's her second one tonight. Lots of them for the Panthers tonight. That's 12 aces. Pardon me, 11 aces for the team tonight. It's kind of unusual to see that at this level of play. But if you've got a good server as well, the serving gods giveth and taketh away again. And that one goes out wide. 5-4 Trinity. Well, Rachel Brolin got to it okay. It kind of handcuffed her and ended up right in front of Catherine Davin. And it's a two-point Trinity lead, which is no real indicator because the Panthers have come back from little deficits like that all night long. Some good defense being played right now by Trinity. That's a slicing attack by Casey Perriman. Off the hands of Mary Stadelman, Casey Perryman, six kills on the night tire serve for the team lead with Maggie Slowey, and Casey goes right to the back line for the serve. At the net, somebody touched it, yep, yep. Saw that net move, somebody touched it. Unfortunately, it was the Panthers side that touched it. With power, my goodness, Kelsey Mahenko got way up for that one. That's the most powerful attack we've seen so far tonight. Three kills tonight for Kelsey Mahenko. My goodness, I wouldn't want to have to have been on the receiving end of that. Susan McLean, back to the back line for the Panthers serve. Little hop serve, no spin in it. That was a knuckleball. You knew what that one was. That one. That one couldn't possibly have carried a straight path. I could see it from up here. Susan McLean's third ace tonight. 13 for the team. Same again. Hard driving serve this time. Trinity takes care of it. Brings it right back. Krista gated to the front line. Short set. Oh, and went right over Kelsey Mahenke's head. Yeah. Recovered. Recovered nicely, but it did go right to the net, and Trinity put that one away for a point. They lead by one. It's 8-7. We're in set three of a best-of-five match. Susan McLean to the left side. Rachel Broadland with some power and down. Very nicely set and very nicely finished off by the junior Rachel Broadlin, and we are tied up at eight. Substitution, Krista Gailey heads back out. Maggie Slowey back in. Catherine Davin out, and the senior number 24, Lauren Williams in. Lauren wins with a serve, and it goes just long. She was headed for that back row. I've mentioned that before tonight. Not lucky enough to have it fall right on the back line. Trinity with the serve. Well, they, there you go. They give and they take it away, and we're all <laughs> up at nine. Serves flying everywhere tonight. Rachel Jones, though, with the most, six aces tonight, heads to the back row for the Panthers. Another good serve, but Trinity able to handle this one. She gets it right back to Rachel Jones. Back set, Rachel Broadland to the net and down, Rachel Broadland. Too much power on that one for the Hillers and the Panthers have the lead finally at 10-9. Trinity had the lead on most of this, most of this set already. 
And from the left side, just a touch over again. Pancake move by Susan McLean. But that was Caitlin Deep again. Side out, end point for Trinity, tied up at 10. Bree Hollick with a serve, Casey Perriman off Bree Hollick's forehead. And out of bounds, Casey Perriman with power has taken over the lead tonight when kills from Maggie Slowey. Seven tonight for Casey Perriman, hitting that with power. Rachel Broadland once again with a serve. Top spin, left side, and Rachel just right between the Rachels, Baldwin and Jones, and Rachel Jones not able to come up with it. Off a of wrist and out of bounds. Trinity gets the point inside out, and we're tied up at 11. All three sets have been close. Oh, Susan McLean had a notion. Had a notion to set it over on the second touch. Didn't work out, and now Trinity's got that lead back. It is 12-11. Set number three of this best of five match. Casey Perriman into the net. Nope, that'll be four. Well, Susan McLean made a valiant effort, almost leaping into the stands to retrieve that. But that actually gives Trinity a two-point lead. Panthers. Still in a position to claw back and get this one. Nice serve, Rachel Broadlin into the net. The overpass, yep, right into the hands. Uh, the overpass went too far, went to the net, and Caitlin Deep, number 22, the senior, put it on the Panther side, and it's a three-point Trinity lead. Hard driving serve into the net, a gift for the Panthers, and the side out. Panthers can get control of the serve back in the hands of Maggie Slowey, Catherine Davin back on the floor. Lauren Williams, number 24, out. Maggie Slowey, top spins just barely over the net. Trinity keeping the ball in play. Susan McClain with a short set. Casey Perriman, I love that play. Casey Perriman, eight kills tonight. Love that quick set. Panthers back within one. It's 14-13, Trinity. Maggie Slowey still with that serve. Nothing on it for Trinity. Susan McLean, short back set, carries the pyramid again. Into the net, Casey does it again. I, oh, oh mercy, I do like that play. That quick set, doggone it, that was over Susan McLean's head that time too, 14 all. All tied up, the set goes to 25, you win them by two. Panthers win this one and we all go home early to watch the Steelers game. Maggie Slowey now serving from the back left and just over the net. Did not fool Trinity and with power that comes right back to Maggie Slowey and off her wrist out of bounds. Pan uh, Trinity grabs that lead back at 15-14. Every single one of these games tonight has been close. Substitution number four, Krista Gailey, the junior defensive specialist, back on. Maggie Slowey will take a quick seat on the bench. We know we'll see her again. Caitlin Deep with that Trinity serve just over and. Apparently lands just out. Was, I'm sorry, I was screened from the play. Apparently landed over, just over, and just out. And now Trinity with a two-point lead at 16-14. Panthers needing a couple right now, but that's not going to do it off the hands of Krista Gailey. I thought she had a pretty good look at it, but it did rattle off her left wrist and into the Panthers bench. And it's now a three-point Trinity lead at 17-14. Susan McLean back to Catherine Davin, but right to the Trinity line, back point, pooched back over by Casey Perriman and pooched back over again. This time by Sarah Reese, and now the Panthers in a little bit of difficulty here. Trailing by four, 18-14 Trinity.
E.C. Perriman sailing that one long, and it's a five-point deficit. Panthers came back to tie this one and actually got the lead here a few minutes ago, but Trinity's rattled off five points in a row. Behind the serve of Caitlin Deep to take control of set number three. Top spin serve, Rachel Jones has it. They're serving, they've been serving away from Rachel. No power on it. Rachel Brawlton out of the front line. Susan McLean short set. Dug out of there unbelievably by the Hillers. Devin sails long. Oh my goodness. Two pretty good looks at it that have both sailed long here. And now the Panthers needing to dig themselves out of a six point hole here pretty quickly. Just get, you gotta get Caitlin deep off this serving line. That's six points in a row now for Trinity. Short set, Christa. Madison Stromberg with that hit recovered and just sort of hoisted over there into the middle of the defense by Trinity and the run continues at seven. And coach Yoko Nagao calling a timeout here. The Panthers were very much in this until all of a sudden Trinity has come back with seven consecutive points to take command of set number three. There's still plenty of opportunity for the Panthers to get this one. In fact, there's two more games that your sets that could be played, but it would have been nice to have all three in a row. That way we could have gone home a little bit early, but here it is. Panthers needing some... Uh, the winner of the 50-50 is Rachel Jones. Well, somebody's the winner of the 50-50 raffle just now. We'll see who stands up and claims that ticket. In any case, Panthers needing a defensive strike right now. Down by seven, 21-14. The set goes to 25. Casey Perriman, there it is, there's number one. With power, Casey Perriman now in double figures, 10 kills tonight for Casey. The bad news is, she heads right back to the back row to be serving instead of doing some power from the front line. Decent serve goes to the front. And Rachel Broadland with the overpass went over the net. Oh, Kelsey, yeah. Kelsey Manko got a little too close. Net violation gives a gift of a point to Trinity. That lead is back to seven. It's 22-15. Mary Stadelman with the Trinity serve. Kelsey Mahenko sailing along. Well, the Panthers not exactly doing themselves any favors here in the latter part of set number three. Down by eight now, 23-15. Krista, yep, Krista getting to the front line and along again. Off Madison Stromberg. Madison Stromberg's hoping for a touch, but it didn't hit any Trinity players on the way by. And now Trinity with nine set points in hand. Kelsey Mahenko easing it over the net. Coming right back from Bree Hollick. Rachel Jones with the top spin and gets it right back. Pretty good action here in what could be the final point. Kelsey Mahenko hitting it right to Trinity. Try it again, back set. Man, not much for Kelsey Mahenko to do. Well, a gift though, a net violation by Trinity. Keeps the Panthers in set number three. Still need to go bundle of points. Any one of which by a win by Trinity it gets them the set. It's 24-16. It goes to 25. Sailing serve handled by Trinity. And that'll do it. That's the end of set number three. Trinity comes back to get one on the board. That scores 25-16. That means we're going to play a little bit more volleyball, everybody. Uh, stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back for set number four.
We are back again after that six millisecond break for everybody. Kevin McGahee still here with you tonight and the videographer Anthony Cugini earning his pay tonight in what will end up being at least a four set match. The Panthers clawed back as you saw to win sets one and two, 26, 24 and 25, 20. Trinity came back to win that last one you just saw, 25, 16. Let's see what kind of a start we get. That one is way, way out of bounds off the hands of Caitlin Deep for Trinity. And the Panthers draw first blood. Deep was pleading her case that it was a tip, but I didn't see any uh, odd rotation of the ball. Anyway, that was a knuckler again. Nothing much Trinity can do with it. Let's see if the Panthers can use it. Rachel Brawlden with the set over to the setter, Susan, or Maggie Slowey, actually. And that little short set recovered by Susan McLean. Lauren Williams keeping it alive. Off the St. Clair block and almost kept alive by Rachel Brawlin, not quite. Trinity evens it up at one. Short serve, but Maggie slowly, oh, that was a double hit by, yeah, double hit by Susan McLean. She got a little confused when that ball came to the side from Maggie Slowey. Little punch serve by number 13, Bree Hollick. And right there, Madison Stromberg. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Casey Perryman. Getting up high and putting it down low. Casey Perryman, 11 kills tonight. To lead all Panthers by a pretty hefty margin now. Rachel Broughton with the serve, 2-2. Two -two. All tied up in set number four. Madison Stromberg, Lauren Williams thought that was gonna hit the basketball backboard. Recessed up into the ceiling, it did not. Substitution, we've seen this before. Alyssa Matthews, senior number two on the floor. Freshman Jen Mascarinic on the bench. Lauren Billy, senior setter number 12, doing the Trinity serving. That one goes way long. She's been in the weight room. Panthers take the gift and it's a 3-3 tie in Set number four, Lauren Williams, number 24, takes a spot on the bench. Madison Stromberg, number eight, the senior outside hitter, back in. Little top spin number by server Maggie Slowey, and from the right side, that little dink shot works again by Caitlin Deep, just over the blockers for the Panthers. Four three hillers. Madison Stromberg left side into the net. Well, I thought the slicing attack could get right past the Trinity blockers. It did not, and it's an early two-point lead for Trinity, 5-3. Well, Susan McLean had placed it pretty well, but Madison Stromberg not able to dig that one out of the net. And those three consecutive points give Trinity a 6-3 lead. Caitlin Deep to the back line serving for the Hillers. Casey Perriman but right into the double block. And the Panthers in but of a scoring drought here carried over from the last set. Where Trinity took 10 of the last 12 points of set number two, and they're not taking four in a row to lead 7-3 in this one. The second touch over by Susan McLean did not fool Trinity. Casey Perriman just put it over the net, but uh, Trinity unable to do anything with it. Rachel Broadlin, though, with a top spin number, falls right in between Caitlin Deep and Lauren Billy for the Hillers, and the Panthers get one of those back. Still trail by three, it's 7-4 Trinity. Just over the net. Yeah, lift call, the lift. That's when you get your hand under the ball and push it up. So Casey Perriman, that's a service ace to me. That's a serve that did not come back. Okay, so trail by two, it's 
Top spin serve, and that might be, can they get to it? No, they cannot, a service ace off the hands of Libero. Katie Cook, and Kesa Perriman with her third service ace, and it's a pile of them for the team tonight. 15 total for the Panthers in four sets, or three and a half, really. Panthers back within one, and that time Casey Perriman serve goes into the net. That's those serving gods again, given and taken away. Mary Stadelman serving for Trinity. Kelsey Mahenko over the net and down. Kelsey Mahenko, four kills tonight for her. Kills have been spread out across a lot of team members here. Casey Perriman leading everybody with 11. Maggie Slowey, six. Rachel Broadland, five. Kelsey Mahenko, four. Madison Stromberg, four. The Panthers really spreading it out here. And now back within one at eight, seven. That overpass back to the net and down by Kelsey Mahenko. The back row needs to get it to the front row and not to the front row of the other team, which is what just happened. Panthers take that and the match is knotted up at eight. And yet another service ace, Susan McLean this time. Pitching it down and left. Four aces for Susan McLean tonight. Backspin number this time. Katie Cook does take control of that. Susan McLean again from the back row. Madison Stromberg off the block. Uh, Maggie Slowey bringing it back. Yes, Trinity just pooching it over the net again. Nothing on it. But it's not how hard you hit it, it's where. Substitution for Trinity. Number six, the freshman Jen Mascarinic back in. Tied up at nine. She go, Matt, Jen goes right to the back line to serve. Rachel Jones, Susan McLean back set to Madison Stromberg and down. That's the classic bump set attack and Madison Stromberg making sure that doesn't come back. Panthers lead by 1-10-9. She comes out, Lauren Williams, number 24, on the floor for the Panthers. Back spin returned and they won't have any, no power on it. So the Panthers get the chance to use it, and Kelsey Mahenko does just that, but it goes into, this, into the Trinity block. Now they get their shot into the St. Clair block, and it does come back. Panthers get a chance to use this now. There's the set, and the short set that did the attack, and kill for Katie Mahenko on the floor and taking care of business, giving the Panthers a two-point lead. It's 11-9. Still a long way to go, but it's an encouraging sign. Little back set and nothing, no power on that at all for Trinity. Lauren Williams, little top spin, keeping the ball in play. Short set and the dink shot again. Sort of the Red Sea parted. Once that ball was just tapped over the net, everybody seemed to run away from it. Anyway, it's a side out and point for Trinity. Katie Cook with a serve. Lauren Williams digs it out of there. That was pretty good. Maggie Slowey with the power. My goodness. Maggie Slowey would have had a kill out of her in a little while, but that's seven on the night for her. And the Panthers get that lead. Rachel Jones with the serve. A floater, a knuckleball, and it lands in. Another ace for Rachel Jones, seven tonight. My goodness, and it's a 13-10 Panther lead. That ball's got to have some pretty good action on it if it's fooling the defenders like that. Lauren Williams made a good choice picking that one up. It was headed for the back line. Rachel Brawlin off the tap. To the back, no action for Trinity. Can the Panthers use it? Oh, just long by about a foot. Casey Perriman with a pretty good look at it. Sails about a foot long. Trinity with the side out and the point. Panthers still with the lead at 13-11. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, a very good set. Casey Perriman jumped a little early. She's a pretty good jumper, but she could not get to that one. It sails over her outstretched arm, and Trinity's got back-to-back -back points, and they're back within one at 13-12. On the left side, Susan McClain taking one for the team there and gets it over. She got two touches that time and that works out just fine. Susan McClain, you don't see the setter get credit for a point very often, but that did it. She dug it out of there and ended up putting it across for a point. Substitution first time tonight, we will have seen number six. Number seven, I don't show number seven in my program. I regret, I don't know who that is, but we shall find out. Panthers getting points exactly when they need them. That looks like Alyssa Ardolino. I had her in my program as number one. She seems to be wearing number seven. That's Alyssa Ardolino. She is a sophomore, her first action tonight. Again, that little tip didn't work for Trinity that time. Off a tip and out of bounds. Give credit to the Panthers for that point. And now they've put together a little run of our own here. It's 16-12 Panthers getting sitting pretty here as we get to 20-point territory. Exactly what you want in, uh, in the, what could be the deciding set of the match. And my goodness, the Panthers have come alive here uh, after taking a little bit of a break early in this set. 11 kills tonight for Casey Perriman still. Seven for Maggie Slowey, the sophomore number 15. Katie Mahenko is six. Madison Stromberg, number eight, has five. Five for Rachel Brawler, number 22. Two for Susan McLean, and one for the libero, Rachel Jones. But she has come through with seven aces. She's got that serve working tonight. Seven aces for Rachel Jones. Four for Susan McLean, three for Casey Perriman, two for Maggie Slowey, and Rachel Broadland has one. Alyssa Ardolino again with the Panther serve and a four point lead. Oh, right off the Panther block and out of bounds, hit pretty well by Mary Stadelman of Trinity. And it's Lauren Billy taking up the Trinity serve. Panthers need to focus here. Now that these points get away, Maggie slowly off a block. Trinity, nothing doing there. Susan McLean, short set. Casey Perriman didn't find an open spot, though. Oh, brother, nice gift for the Panthers. Mary Stadelman, the outside hitter. The slicing attack would have worked, but it went long and out of bounds, all the across the sideline. Madison Stromberg back on the floor. Lauren Williams takes a break. Panthers four-point lead at 17-13. Maggie Slowey with the serve. Little topspin number, nothing serious. That wasn't a very serious attack by Trinity either. Short set, Casey Perriman, bang! Wow! Fine in the open spot on the right side. Panthers with a five-point lead, 18-13. Maggie Slowey again, a little topspin serve. From the left side, it's on the second touch, Susan McLean hoists it over. Trinity one of its, oh, not only no chance, but it did not get over. Bree Hollick. Didn't have enough on it to get it over the net, and it's a six-point Panther lead. Maggie Slowey with that serve. Panthers in pretty decent shape. It's not over yet. Six points to go, but Hillers need 12. Well, there's one of them right off a the, the little slice of an attack off the arm of Casey Perriman. How much you could do about that? And this is where the Panthers ran into trouble last time with Caitlin Deep at the serve. See if they can't get her off of that spot. First shot here. Alyssa Ardolino, Madison Stromberg. Little short set for Trinity and off the Madison Stromberg block. Point Trinity back within four. It's 19 15 Panthers. Susan McLean. 
Madison Stromberg. Boom. Oh, the Bree Hollick, Ariston Madison Stromberg. Six kills tonight. Panthers now five point lead at 2015. Casey Perriman with a serve and three aces tonight already. Let's see if she can't procure a fourth for us. Well, Trinity couldn't do anything there. Susan McLean just touching it back over her head. Good presence of mind because the bump came a little bit over her head and Susan McLean finding the open spot and it's a six point Panther lead, 21-15. Oh, right off, right off, right off. Oh, Kenneth had to have some action on it. Right in the mug of Bree Hollick and another Casey Perryman ace. That's what I was asking for a minute ago. And the Panthers with a cushy 7-point, 22-15 lead here in what could be the deciding set of the match. The serving has come alive for the Panthers in the early part of this match. Serving was not so good, headed over the, over the back line and into the net, but since then, my goodness, you don't see this many aces in a WPIAL match. Seven for Rachel Jones, four Casey Perriman and Susan McLean. That's 15, 17, 18 service aces in four sets. That's pretty good serving and good coaching by Coach Yoko Naga, who's gotta be pleased with the way the Panthers have persisted in this match, comes low and hard over the net, returned by Trinity, but no power, but there again. They're using the short game, they're dinking and dunking, and it's working just getting over the Panthers' front line. As I might have explained earlier in this match, though, the receiving team has the advantage. If they can do a classic bump set attack, we've got the advantage. There's Kelsey Mahenko headed toward the back corner, but Trinity with it to see if the Panthers can use it now. Lissa Ardolino, short set, Kelsey Mahenko. Still there it is, oh the Red Sea parted, or the Blue Sea rather. The Trinity Blue Sea parted and Casey Mahenko gets credit for the kill and seven for her tonight. Seven point lead for the Panthers. 23-16, two more points to victory. Susan McLean with a little hop, surf just off, tips off the net. Trinity still with it though. And sails wide and out of bounds off Sarah Reese. And now the Panthers with eight match points in hand. They just need one now to capture the match and send everybody home a little bit early. Uh, you like to see a serve go backwards. That means Trinity won't have an attack put together. Short set and Kelsey Mahenko also not finding an open spot. Now the Panthers with another chance to use it. Rachel Jones, Susan McLean, and Madison Stromberg finishing things off for the Panthers. Strong attack and kill for Madison Stromberg and the upper St. Clair Panthers start off the 2009 campaign at 2-0 in Section 2 play, having captured this first, in this, this first home match of the season against the Trinity Hillers, 26-24, 25-20, 16-25 as Trinity won set number three and 25-16 of their own to finish things off here. We're glad you were with us tonight. There's plenty more volleyball season to come this year on Cable 7. Stay with us all season long, everybody. Thanks very much to my videographer, Anthony Cugini, tonight. I'm Kevin McGahee, and thanks to Glenn Ward at Cable 7 for making all this possible. Good night, everybody, and see you next match.